Thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, my first question is about confidence. How did you build your confidence up in, in order to, to play these roles? Well, we, there was a real gift in that we got to hang out. Um, we spent weeks with one another before we started the film, so just by way of experience and spending time with one another, we were able to build, I think, a natural chemistry that's ho hopefully palpable on screen. I mean, we spent a ton of time together before the filming commenced. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that helped us build this, like I said, this natural chemistry. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of the confidence, uh, it, whatever confidence we might have lacked at the moment or weren't feeling, you know, and or weren't able to sort of produce by acting, we sort of had to use the trust that we had in Luca. And, uh, you know, he was very instrumental in in sort of allowing us and helping us and, and mm -hmm. encouraging us to go to places that I'm sh I think neither of us had ever really been to before. Mm -hmm. From the point of view of, uh, of a viewer, um, there's risk involved in this decision, I mean, this in, in picking up this role. Did mm -hmm. you feel it that way? Uh, I, I mean, I knew it was risky because it would be putting myself out there. It would be, it would be, it would be going somewhere and going farther in a place that I'd never really gone to before or trusted myself or trusted a director to really go to. And uh, I mean, I, I have no regrets about it. I really, I really loved every single thing about the experience, whether it be working with Luca or working with Timmy or shooting it in Italy. It was, it was, one, of, it, it was, it was one of my favorite experiences that I've had in this business. But is this uh, something you, you take in account when you choose a role, risk? I mean, is this something you like to like overcome? Uh, I mean, the, the process of choosing a role for me personally is like, it's not necessarily, is it a this or is it a that? It's, it, it's not that black and white. It's more like a pie chart, you know, where <laughs> one slice of the pie will probably be who's directing it. Another one will be who's involved, you know, creatively in terms of developmentally. Who's, who's uh, where does it shoot? Can I take my family with me? You know, there's a lot of things that go into something like this, but uh, obviously uh, the largest slice of the pie is who's directing it. And the fact that it was Luca Guadagnino and the fact that I was such a fan of his, I, I, I trusted him to, to sort of helm this experience. And I, I, I was hoping and I knew that he wouldn't really leave us out there high and dry. Mm -hmm. You've gotten some experience in, in film sets now, um, of course, you, you too. Um, how do you like your directors to be on the set? How do you like them? I mean, what do you ask for? That's really interesting. I probably should have, I probably should have, like, I should probably know that. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think just, uh, maybe just a no, just, just an openness of some sort. Um, just, just at, at a bare level, just openness to, to, um, to, uh, I don't know, like a, like a, friendly dialogue, even offset, you know, um, not, uh, but you know what, that, that's hard for me to answer because I've really, and this is just going to sound like a cliche, I've really only worked with really just great, fantastic, talented, but kind and uh, intuitive directors. And as far as Luca, Luca Guadagnino goes, I've never, that is, he's, he's one of the greatest directors of our generation, so there was never any doubt that I, 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 I never felt unsafe or um, like, um, uh, I, I never felt uncomfortable about what we were what we were putting together. Mm -hmm. Would you like to direct? I, yeah, I would ultimately. Um, I think that you know right now I'm considering this like film school. I get to work with great directors. I get to see what works. I get to see what doesn't work. I get to see what part of each one of their processes that I agree with. And ultimately, I would like to direct. It will just take me overcoming the feeling of not ready by the feeling of I have to do this now or never. So. Mm -hmm. Which are the good things you learned from the directors you've worked with, like the, like the good tips? Oh man, I got, t I got tons, <laughs> I got tons, but you know, it's also, it's also so subjective because there are things that work so well for one director that you might think that is the key to directing, that is the key to success, that is the key to making it work. And then subsequently you'll work with another director who doesn't do that at all, and yet that works as well. So there's no, there's no real answer. There's no real tip. I think it's all about, a, it's all about ultimate, the one thing that I've seen that works the best, and it's sort of like a ubiquitous trait, is a collaborative nature. You know, being able to collaborate, being able to work with that person and that person, that person, and get across what you want and have those people execute it well. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks so much, guys. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Nice to see you, man. Pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yep. Yeah.